glaucoma and cataract. I have an awful lot of patients who have glaucoma and cataract, and they tend to go hand in hand. The older you get, the more likely you have glaucoma, and the older you get, you're more likely to have cataract. Glaucoma is about the pressure inside the eye. It goes high and it starts, starts squeezing the optic nerve at the back of the eye. That optic nerve becomes damaged and you start losing patches of your peripheral vision. The danger is you don't know it's happening to you until it's too late. We give you drops to try and get the pressure down inside the eye, but those drops can be inconvenient and sometimes they, they do not work fully or you get problems with the drops. Going into the eye and taking away the cataract can often bring the pressure down inside the eye by about one or two. We know that for every one millimeter of mercury, which is the measure of pressure, that we get the pressure down, we reduce the risk of glaucoma progressing by about 10%. So the lower we get the pressure, the better it is for you. When I'm in the eye taking away the cataract, I open up the drainage angles inside the eye. That's where the fluid drains out of. And if they're narrow, you get more resistance to the fluid draining out. And if they're wide, you get less resistance. By taking the cataract out inside the eye, we replace it with a thin synthetic lens and that can open the angle. It only gets us about one or two, which is a bonus, but it doesn't get the pressure down to a level which we can get patients off drops or keep them safer. There is a clever new technique that I can use called the eye stent. It's done at the time of cataract surgery. So you have the ordinary cataract surgery done, and then I stem the operation by about 10 minutes or so to put this clever stent in. How does it work? If you imagine, I was speaking about the drainage angles inside the eye, they go all the way around the eye at the front. Sitting within that angle, right in there, is a hose. And if you imagine it's one of those drip hoses for drip, drip feeding, so it's got little microscopic holes in it. But it works differently. Rather than the fluid coming out of it, the fluid from inside the eye drains into it and then drains away. If you have glaucoma, those little holes are too small. And so the fluid cannot get in. And that's what caused the problem. Even a microscopic increase in the amount of fluid inside the eye can send the pressure up exponentially because the eye is non-distensible, it can't stretch up. So what's happening is you're not getting enough fluid drainage. I can put a little stent directly into that tube, into that hose, and that creates a shortcut for the fluid to go through it. I put two of them in and often I can get the pressure down by five or six. It's a well-established technique. It's fiddly, but that's what I'm trained for. And that is something that I do quite frequently for patients with glaucoma. If you're on two drops, we can reduce it down to one drop. If you're on one drop, we can even get you off the drops. Or if the drops themselves aren't getting the pressure down to a reasonable level, we can actually get it down even lower with the drops on board. It doesn't always work, but in the great majority of patients, we can get a great pressure reduction. So not only do we improve the vision, but we get the pressure down, down as well. And as you're inside the eye, it just seems to make sense to do it. Some people tend to do it even if the patient isn't having cataract surgery. I don't tend to do that because there are significant risks involved in going into the eye. I'd much prefer to do it in a cataract patient with glaucoma. It just seems to make sense to get the pressure down a little bit. There are cost implications, but if you consider the cost-benefit analysis of not having to use the drop so frequently, the 10% for every one millimeter of mercury down protection which you have, and also the inconvenience of having used drops multiple times a day, it can weigh out and a lot of patients are going for it. It's again something which we need to discuss face to face and something which we need to think about. But if you have glaucoma and cataract, it seems to make sense that you do something like that to try and get the pressure down and protect you for the long term.